Hello people, this is Vicky and uh, I'm here for a Wi-Fi sharing tutorial that how you can connect multiple computers with each other. Before going to start, I would like to suggest a few things. For example, if you are looking forward to copy data from one computer to another and the data is very large in size, let's say 20 GB, then I would suggest you to do LAN sharing. You can watch my previous networking video, it's just one click away. Let's start. Okay, imagine a scenario now that we have a Wi-Fi router and we have got three PCs that are connected to the internet. Now, let me tell what happens with me here. This is the computer of my brother that is PC1 and uh, this is mine, PC2 and uh, the other one is computer for home use. Okay, so... I have probably got a very good collection of movies and my brother always has to consult me for the movies and of course I don't want to give him my PC because I'm already, already using it. Then he asked me to get him the movie in, in a pen drive that cost me number of operation. Fetching a pen drive, copying and then handing it over to him. I actually don't like it. I need some kind of a mechanism so that my brother and the home computer guy can watch movies without even copying them by accessing them from my PC from their own computers. Okay, so now I'm at the uh, PC2 that is mine and uh, for the networking share you first I would need to set my IPs. So, open networking and uh, sharing center. Then uh, click on the internet that you are currently connected to. And uh, then you need to access the properties and uh, then uh, access the properties of your internet protocol version 4 ok so here we are now here you need to enter the IP settings that are provided to you by your internet service provider now I don't know what IP settings uh, had been provided to you by your internet service provider so I'm just assuming that's xxxx ok so this part as you can see here is a bit important when you're doing the networking sharing okay now let's assume if it is PC2 and uh, here uh, the number is actually 21 just make sure that you don't enter the same IPs at each PC okay if it is PC1 we would change it to 22 and if it is computer home computer we will change it to 23 so that the IPs should be unique Okay, we cannot enter the same IPs into each and everything, into each computer here. And just make sure that you uh, ask for the IP settings from your internet service provider because uh, during the networking sharing, we want to keep our network internet alive. Now, as I have uh, set my IP settings on each computer, so my computers are actually connected. Okay, so now. I'm going to share my G drive on of this computer with other computers on this network. To do that, I would access the properties of the drive and uh, then the sharing settings and uh, then the advanced sharing. Then I would share this folder, mark it and uh, in permissions it's up to you how much of a control you want to give it to the other user. Free control or you can also uh, let the other user change your data or you can only restrict it. To only read your data okay so okay hit the ok button okay and uh, then you come here in the security if uh, uh, the everyone is not adding in the usernames you need to add them from there uh, you would add it and uh, then you would add and uh, then advanced find now and uh, everywhere um, as it is already added uh, in my users list so I'm not going to do this so now I would uh, come into the control panel settings and, uh, then I would access the network and shooting center and 
then change the downstream settings. And here, I would do. Uh, I have already disabled the password protecting sharing. Okay, so if it asks you for the password uh, when you access the other computer from your computer, then you should have these settings on that computer which you are trying to access. Okay, so now we are done with the PC queue. So now I am at uh, home PC and as I already told you that I have entered the IP settings for on each computer. So all computers are generally connected. Now, access to my computer and uh, you would see uh, different PCs in your network. This is probably mine and uh, if uh, it is not shown here, you can simply access the start, start menu, you can type double backslash and you can type your uh, PC IP that you're trying to access. For example, uh, if it was xx dot xx dot xx dot two one, if it was, that is actually not right as uh, we can see. Okay. So now I have uh, the G drive here shared and the data too as well and the movies and uh, you know yeah I can watch the movie without even copying it yeah I can do the job pretty well so this was it and okay, uh, so what makes this tutorial different from my previous tutorial if you remember in my previous tutorial it was about peer to peer networking okay uh, we we were not able to use the internet and the advantage point was actually that uh, uh, we could transfer the data at uh, higher speed at higher transferring speed okay and uh, plus we had only two pcs connected with each other but now what we did today was actually wide area networking we could use our internet we had multiple pcs and the advantage was that uh, in the meanwhile we we were able to use our internet but the transferring speed was comparatively uh, lower than the peer to peer networking that we did last time okay so stay tuned i would be doing printer sharing in my next tutorial video and uh, thanks for watching